the measures that we had in place were simply aborted and not made to work. Again, when we look at macroeconomic stability, when you've been given all the factors to take off, you rather reverse every factor, as has been mentioned by Honorable Adongo, Honorable Kwete, John Jinapo, and Atu Forson. They talk about an inclusive transformation agenda. This is an, a lazy approach to macroeconomic stability, a lazy approach to building our economy. To be honest, I think most of them were just derived out of the SDGs. No thought, not much thought at all went into that. Some of it was just copied from the many policies that we had in place and which we had begun to achieve. I have to say that in fact, this current government lacks awareness because they seem to be totally not in touch with the ground. They lack understanding and in spite of their PhDs, they lack knowledge. In fact, yes, they have purposely misled not only their own, but they have misled all of Ghana. Because at the beginning, a few Ghanaians thought that perhaps they may have some good tricks under their sleeve, but they have shown that they just have bad tricks and they are just up to mischief. Indeed, we see that in public financial management, they are good with giving definitions. But we know that it's a balancing act. We know that it's about balancing your assets and your liabilities. They have proved beyond doubt that even that they cannot do. They have brought down the banking industry. They complain about ENI gas project, the very project that will bring you gas so that you can produce energy cheaper. You complain and make derogatory remarks. This was a project that came in under President Mahama through a World Bank partial risk guarantee, a flagship financing structure. They messed it up. There is still doom so. Exchange rate is where it is. No matter what kind of logic the Vice President tries to come up with. The Balancing Act now is in jeopardy. Ghana, like a ship, is now astray in turbulent waters. This is a real pity. Oh, Baumia. Why? Wow.